but if you give me a second, I should be able to work things out. Hmm. No, we don't. Oh, there we go. Marvellous. So, what I'd like to do is try and show you guys what's going on, where we are, how everything works. So, Ferg, if you don't mind zooming in a little bit. So, we are based, our camp is based just on the edge of the Mara Triangle. We're just outside the triangle and we drive in. That's where the escarpment is and I'm going to show this all to you now in real life. But I'd just like to give you the bearings on the map. We drove around, crossed the Mara Bridge over there. You can see a tiny little bridge. This is the Mara River flowing down. We crossed that bridge then into the Mara North Conservancy. And then be before we went live with the show, I was driving down this road over here. And then we've just passed through Musiara Gates. So the plan is to now head towards the Talek area. This is where most of the... Would you guys mind changing channel? Um, this is where we're going to be looking for five male cheetah. And this is the Mara National Reserve. This is the Mara Triangle and all of surrounding it. We will slowly make our way eventually to cross at the Purungat Bridge, which is right on the Tanzanian border, right in the south of the Masai Mara. So we're going to be doing a full traverse of the Mara all looks from here. We can actually see our camp up on the hills to our right, where James is nestled, where he's recovering. Oh no, is the pole in the way there? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it's, it's no, no. It's over. It's at uh, three o'clock is where the camp is. So our camp is up there. There you can see FC. That black window is James's migration control. And FC is just to the right of that. So we traveled along the escarpment all the way and then eventually dropped down, crossed through the Mara River and made our way back to where we are. That's Green Patches, a well-known area called the Marsh, where a very well-known of Pride of Lion spent time, called the Marsh Pride. They were very famous many years ago, but they seem to have disbanded since then and are spending more time outside of the reserve. They're spending time in the conservancies. So I hope that helped give you a bit, a bit of an idea of how the Mara works.